Welcome back everybody, it is the one and only Q from Retro Q Gaming here back with our third installment of the original masterpiece of Final Fantasy VII. Now, no need to beat around the bush, we're just going to jump straight back into it on the 64th floor of the Shinra building. Although admittedly we are going straight up to the 65th because we're done here. Wait, are we? I want to just double check something. Yeah. So up we go to 65. Interestingly enough, when you look at the where the lift goes to, 65, 66, 69. So 67 and 68 are off limits to the lift. We have to figure out a different way to them. But in the meantime, these are all locked. Midgar parts. If only it was that easy. Interesting type of enemy here. Does feature in the remake in a capacity. Oh, oh do we have. Oh, so close to another limit. Although now he has one. Could this be enough uses to unlock his new limit break? Not yet, unfortunately. Or at least I don't think so. Based on memory. Yeah. I'd guess one more. Possibly two. So we have a 1 to 10,000 scale model of Midgar. A model of Midgar, a city born from the Earth's Mako. Some parts are missing. Sounds like something opened up. So basically, we have to build a model. They open piece by piece when we put new parts in. Now, this one looks like it's broken, but this is actually part of how Midgar looks at the moment. Galaxy brain theorists like myself believe that that could possibly be. I. I don't want to say Sector 7, because during one of the cutscenes earlier on in the game, when it shows outside of Midgar, I believe it's either the one right at the very start where it shows Sector 7, or where they're dropping Sector 7. If you look to the left, you see one with damage similar to that. Makes you wonder why it's like that. Now we've fully built Midgar. Or have we? It's going to be a long time before we see his level 2 limit break. Oh. One second, I'm missing here. Now, yeah, Midgar is complete. If only it was so easy. 
key card 66. Ooh, I'm so sick of carrying all these files, but I get to meet lots of guys. I guess that's the benefit of being a secretary. This guy really doesn't want to say anything. Phew. There's a boardroom. Is it just me, or is the conference room smell? There's some sort of stench coming from somewhere. We got all the high-level executives in the conference room. They're having another executive meeting. I wonder if it's about the plate incident. Hey, when you're in a band room, do you ever hear whispers coming from somewhere? Come on, we're building the future of Mako. Flush. Climb up. Shades of golden eye. Jeez, that's a lot of suits. We have the damage estimates for Sector 7. Considering those factories we already set up and all the investments, the damage is estimated at approximately 10 billion gil. The estimated cost to rebuild Sector 7 is... We're not rebuilding. What? We're leaving Sector 7 as it is and restarting the Neo Midgar plan. Then the Ancients? The Promised Land will soon be ours. I want you to raise the Mako rates 15% in every area. Rate hike, rate hike, tra la la, and please include our space program in the budget. Reeve and Scarlet will divide the extra income from the rate increase. Oh man. Sir, if you raise the rates, the people will lose confidence. It'll be alright. The ignorant citizens won't lose confidence. They'll trust Shinra Inc. even more. Ha ha ha! After all, we're the ones who saved Sector 7 from Avalanche. That dirty bitch! Hojo, how's the girl? As a specimen, she's inferior to her mother. I'm still in the process of comparing her to her mother, if... if Alna. But for now, the difference is... 18%. How long will the research take? Probably 120 years. It's probably impossible to finish in our lifetime. Or in the lifetime of the specimen too, for that matter. That's why we're thinking of breeding her. Then we could create one that would withstand our research for a long time. What about the Promised Land? Won't it hinder our plans? That's what I need to plan. The mother is strong and yet has her weakness. That concludes our meeting. Something stinks. You were talking about Ares, right? I don't know. Probably. Let's follow him. Got to do a little backwards moonwalk crawl. Sometimes it used to be really awkward when you get into scenes like that and you try to hold a certain direction because you think that's where you're going to move and then suddenly you move the other way. There's Hojo. Hojo, huh?
I remember him. That Hojo guy. He's in charge of the Shinra Science Department. Cloud, don't you know him? This is the first time I've ever actually seen him. So, that's what he looks like. Probably where they hold specimens and stuff, right? Let's see, the specimen Hojo asked me for is... Is this today's specimen? Yes, we're starting right away. Raise it to the upper level. My Hojo voice is stereotypical. My precious specimen. Precious specimen? Is it going to be used for a biological experiment? Genova. Sephiroth's... So, they brought it here. Cloud, be strong. Did you see it? See what? It's moving. Still alive? Where's its goddamn head? This whole thing's stupid. Let's keep going. mechanical enemy. some attacks in we'll uh we get some limits oh no need Ares. Ares? Oh, is that her name? What do you want? We're taking Ares back. Outsiders. Should've noticed it earlier, you. There's so many frivolous things in this world. Are you going to kill me? I don't think you should. 
The equipment here is extremely delicate. Without me, who could operate it? Hmm. Ugh. That's right. I recommend you think things out logically before you make any rash moves. Now, bring in the specimen. Cloud, help! What do you think you're doing? Lending a helping hand to an endangered species. Both of them are on the brink of extinction. If I don't help, all these animals will disappear. Animal? That's terrible. Ares is a human being. You're gonna pay! Barrett, can't you do anything? Alright, step back. Stop! Well, what are you doing? Oh, my precious specimens. Now's our chance to get Ares. Thanks, Cloud. Cloud, what's wrong? The elevator's moving. This is no ordinary specimen. This is a very ferocious specimen. He's rather strong. I'll help you all out. It talked? I'll talk as much as you want later, miss. I don't know what kind of voice I'm supposed to do for Red 13. We'll take care of that monster. Somebody take Ares somewhere safe. Barrett, take care of her. What's your name? Hojo has named me Red 13. A name with no meaning whatsoever to me. Call me whatever you wish. We're just gonna leave him as Red 13. It's only fair. Come on! So he's given all of... Hojo's, or not Hojo's, Barret's stuff. We're all poisoned, unfortunately. But we do have limits. Oh no, I missed! I missed her second one. And naturally, we only need to take out the big guy at the back, but if we get rid of all the small ones in the front, it'll save us some time. Though, having said that, when we get big things like limit breaks, we're gonna rip them on the, on the back row. Down. It's easy with magic. It takes a couple of turns. It's not hindered by the back row. Resistant to lightning. Yeah. 
strategy pays off. And we got a talisman out of it. Ares, you alright? She seems alright, in many ways. I have a right to choose, too. I don't like two-legged things. I sub no. What are you? An informed question, but difficult to answer. I am what you see. You must have many questions, but first, let's get out of here. I'll lead the way. Cloud, so you did come for me. I apologize for what happened back there. I was merely acting to draw Hojo off guard. Now we've saved Ares, ain't no need to be in this building. So let's get the hell out of here. If all five of us go together, we'll be noticed. Let's break up into two groups. So I can bring... Let's see. I, my problem is I don't want to bring Red with me. Oh, no, hang on. To change the menu... Cancel. There we go. This is what I wanted. Mm. No, you know what? I will bring red with me. We'll give it a second. We'll mix up some material. Red 13 comes with his own material. Not gets Barrett once. I was slightly mistaken. This looks better. I'm trying to keep a, a balanced party. See you later. We'll be waiting at the 66th floor elevator. Later. Meet up with us at the 66th floor elevator. And an enemy skill material. So the enemy skill materia is very, very useful in many ways. There are multiple different enemies throughout the game that will use a learnable skill. And when they do, it gets recorded on here. And there's only a select amount of enemy skill materials in the game. And some of the enemy skills themselves, you only have very, very certain places to learn them. No, please don't kill me. I only did what Hojo told me. To prove it to you here, this is the key card to the 68th floor. Would I be doing this if I was the enemy? So basically, you have to learn certain skills at certain points. Where are you going? Everyone's waiting for us at the 66th floor elevator. Fine. Hey, what is it? Would you press up, please? Turks! Must be a trap. This must have been a real thrill for you. Did you enjoy it? Ugh.
They got you too. Where's Ares? In a safe place. She's the last surviving ancient. Don't you know? They called themselves the Cetra and lived thousands of years ago. Now they're just a forgotten page in history. Cetra. That girl is a survivor of the Cetra? Cetra, or the Ancients, will show us the way to the Promised Land. I'm expecting a lot out of her. The Promised Land? Isn't that just a legend? Even so, it's far too appealing not to pursue. It's been said the Promised Land is very fertile. If the land is fertile, then there's gotta be Mako. Exactly. This is where a money-making Mako reactor is necessary. The abundant Mako will flow out on its own. That is where Neo Midgar will be built, Shinra's new glory. Bullshit! Quit dreaming! Oh really? Don't you know? These days all it takes for your dreams to come true is money and power. Well, that is for... That is all for our meeting. Come on, out of his way. Hold it, I got a lot to say to you. If there's anything else, talk to my secretary. Can we get out? Leave it to me. You're so brave, Cloud. Let's see, I wonder how Ares is doing. Cloud, are you there? Ares, you're safe? Yeah, I'm alright. I knew the cloud would come for me. Hey, I'm your bodyguard, right? The deal is for one day, right? Oh, I get it. Tiffa? Tiffa, you're there too? Excuse me. You know, Ares, I have a question. What? Does the Promised Land really exist? I don't know. All I know is... The Cetra are born from the planet. Speak with the planet and unlock the planet. And then... The Cetra will return to the Promised Land. A land that promises supreme happiness. What does that mean? More than words. I don't know. Speak with the planet? Just what does the planet say? It's full of people and noisy. That's why I can't make out what they're saying. You hear it now? I... I only heard it at the church in the slums. Mother said that Midgar was no longer safe. That is, my real mother. Someday I'll get out of Midgar, speak with the planet, and find my promised land. That's what Mom said. I thought I would stop hearing her voice as I grew up, but... Don't give up. Let's see, I wonder how... I wonder how Red is doing. Grandpa. Grandpa! Ha ha ha! Grandpa! Hmm, ha <laughs> ha! What's so funny? Nothing! Ha ha ha! Oh, I meant to click Barrett. Oops.
Suddenly our, we wake up and our door is open. The door is open. When did it open? What's happened? Tifa, wake up. What's wrong? Something's wrong. Look outside. I wonder what happened. He should have the key on him. Come on, Tifa. Get Ares. I'll go help Barrett near her. Barrett, Red 13. Come with me. Something's wrong. How'd you get in? Why's the door open? This is kind of eerie. Must have been attacked by... What the hell's going on? No human could have done this. I'll go on ahead. I'll clean up back here, so you guys go ahead. Don't get caught by Shinra. Come on, let's follow Red 13. One thing I like to do is... Oh good, they've taken them off automatically. Always try to keep hmm. I know that she has two fire on her. You know what? There we go. I always recommend keeping an enemy skill material equipped to someone who is here. Music is still around. Well, I guess we might as well use it. It's not like we need it much for anything. But it'll count towards unlocking our next limo break. You know, I feel like I missed a floor earlier on. Should have been one with a different puzzle. Chinova specimen. Looks like it went to the upper floor using that elevator for the specimens. Like it leads up. All the blood all over the floor. Just follow the trail.
Oh, we got it properly. Oh, she's asleep. So yeah, what I can do is, because Ares is very weak, I can get her to attack Tifa to wake her up. takes effect. Oh, put her back to sleep again. Right as we were doing a cure and everything. This is dangerous. Okay. That was close. I didn't want to use the limit breaks on him. But now they're stored, ready for our next battle. He's dead. The head of Shinra is dead. Then this sword must be Sephiroth's. Sephiroth is alive. Looks like it. Only Sephiroth can use that sword. Who cares who did it? This is the end of Shinra. Uh. But, but, but please don't kill me. What happened? S Sephiroth. Sephiroth came. Did you see him? Did you see Sephiroth? Yeah, I saw him with my own eyes. You really saw him? Uh, would I lie at a time like this? I heard his voice too. Uh, he said something about not letting us have the promised land. Then it. That does mean. The Promised Land really does exist, and it's Sephiroth's here to save it from Shinra? So he's a good guy then? Save the Promised Land? A good guy? No way. It's not that simple. I know him. Sephiroth's mission is different. Rufus! Shit, I forgot about him. Who's that? Vice Pre... <clears throat> no, it's Barrett. Vice President Rufus, the President's son. I wonder what sort of person he is. So, so Sephiroth was actually here. By the way, just who are you? I'm Cloud, ex-soldier, first class. I'm from Avalanche. Me too. A flower girl from the slums. A research specimen. What a crew. Well, I'm Rufus, the president of Shinra, Inc. you only president because your old man died. Correct. I'll let you hear my inaug inauguration speech. Father tried to control the world with money, and that worked for him. The 
the people believed that Shinra would protect them. Work at Shinra, get your pay. If terrorists attack, the Shinra army will help you. It looked perfect on the outside. But I do things differently. I'll control the world with fear. It's too much to do it like my old man. A little fear will control the minds of the common people. There's no reason to waste good money on them. He likes to make speeches just like his father. Get Ares out of the building. What? I'll explain later, Barrett. This is the real crisis for the planet. The hell is that supposed to mean? I'll explain later, just take my word for now. I'll go after I take care of him. All right, Cloud. Cloud, I just thought of something. I'll wait for Cloud. Everyone, get to the elevator. Hmm, it's gonna get pretty ugly from here on. We should check on our equipment. Cloud and Tiff is materia, we will leave it. Besides, we can do it the other way anyway. Hang on a minute. Red's got none. I guess we can take some of this off. Okay. It's slapdash, but... It's enough. Oh, right, I have to go and lift. This guy looks familiar to some people. Taking out all the glass, shooting between them. The problem sometimes with this one is that he is long range. So Barrett or anyone with long range materia can hit him. Or magic. Let's see, we have we we have some stuff we can throw at him. I don't think Danny works on bosses, but oh, it does do some damage. Not as much as it should. Main artillery. Now, despite it being long range. Limit breaks, even if they aren't long range, can still hit them like Sled Fang. Oh, here he's got a limit break. We'll save that for when we need another cure all. Oh, 
Oh yeah. I forgot Demi is only a percentage, even on bosses. And that is... One boss down. Of course. He's replaced by the Heli Gunner. This isn't outside on the way up to the Shinra building. Oh, he's getting all the attacks in. Against wind and lightning. Oh, I, d I didn't mean to sense twice. Forgot they both had it. her to wake him up. Although it's worth it for this limit break. Question, is that enough? Is that 10 uses of Big Shot? really get stuck on that battle if you're not prepared for it because you if you're not set up with the proper materia or anything like that only Barrett can do damage now I can oh this is perfect I have a limit break ready so let's see what do I want to equip I don't remember if he has an enemy skill, but we put it on anyway. It's looking good. Why do you want to fight me? You want the promised land in Sephiroth. That's right. Did you know that Sephiroth is an agent? Whatever. I can't let either you or Sephiroth have the promised land. I see. I guess we won't be allies. You're damn right, Rufus. Of course, he has his little dog doing all his dirty work.
another limo break. Sorry, Rufus. See, it doesn't do too much damage because... But he is paralyzed. Look, he can't move. Because his little pet cast physical barrier on him. That's all for today. See, if I had landed bio on him and hit him with any actual poison status effect much earlier, it wouldn't have been... I won't say it's tedious, but... Absorbs poison. Okay, limo break will sort him out. Move paralyze on the effects of cross slash. Where's Rufus? I couldn't finish him. This is going to get complicated. Go on ahead. Shit, we're surrounded. If I was alone, this wouldn't be a thing. But I got a reputation to protect. You all get out while you can. It's not you they're after, it's me. Yeah? Well, that ain't happening. You got caught up in this over Marlene? Now it's my turn to help you. Okay, playtime's over, jackasses. Thank you, Mr. Barrett. Who are you calling Mr. Barrett? That don't sound right. Well then, if you are crew talking, may I suggest we think of a way to get out of here? Huh? Oh, oh yeah. You're cold, man. Just like someone else around here, I know. Did you say something? Not a thing. So, what are we gonna do? Barrett! Tifa, 
Where's Cloud? Everyone, over here. Huh? What's up? Where's Cloud? He's coming. Hurry, hurry. Oh, yeah. Cloud gets the hearty Daytona. Everyone else gets a little meme van. See, with these awkward buttons, select is attack on the left, and then OK is attack on the right. And OK, let's go. Look at us go. This is top notch, cutting edge bike graphics. Infamous Midgar City Escape. Presented in glorious high definition. Just the way it should be. You have to try to be real careful. Because if you... When you take down an enemy and they skid... If you get them in front of the truck, it hits a lot of damage into them as they skid. Dodging like every little in between gap. Now we got some fancy camera views. Let's get out of this damn city. Not exactly the regular stuff chasing me, but... See, this is why you have to be careful. The more damage you take during the escape, which is why everyone has life bars, the different they start on here. And because it's a back attack, everyone is starting in their different spots. Robots and machines don't take any damage from... from bio. Oh, well, they, they take a little bit of damage from it sometimes, but they won't... Take what's the word? They won't get poisoned. There we go. That one can come in nasty. But it does ramp up everyone's limit break.
weak against lightning. I think I left my lightning materia on Ares. It's actually a shame it, it's not ramping up Barrett's one of all people. The one we want. Feels like ten uses by now. No, still no second limit break for Barrett. Well, what do we do now? Sephiroth is alive. I have to settle a score. Will that save the planet? It seems so. Then, I'm going! I'll go, too. There are things I need to know. About the ancients. Many things. I guess it's goodbye, Midgar. I'm going back to my hometown. I'll go with you as far as that. I guess this is the start of our journey. Yeah, traveling? I don't know, but I don't have anywhere else to go. So I guess it doesn't really matter whether I like to travel or not. You know what? This is the first time I've ever left Midgar. Really? You worried? A little. No, maybe a lot. But I have a bodyguard, right? We told Ares' mom to go somewhere safe, so Marlene should be safe too. Yeah, she should be. She said she didn't want to stay in Midgar anymore. Maybe it's for the best. Then... Let's go! 
We need a leader for our journey. Of course, that could only be me. You think so? I think it should be Cloud. Shit, alright. Go northeast to a town called Calm. If something happens, we meet up there. Besides, we can't all be strolling around out there. It's too dangerous. Let's split into two parties. Now, who do we take? I'm gonna take these two because they don't have an additional limit break yet. We'll see you at calm. Saving on the world map. On the world map, access the menu anytime and select save to save your game. Obvious stuff. Now we are going to remove everyone's materia. Because now we only have select characters with us. So... Let's see. What does Cloud want? I'll take a sense. Our most advanced fire. And all. Barrett can take restore and all. Ares can take enemy skill. And she can take poison and lightning. So we have a fire and a lightning and a restore. So ice. Cover. And steel. Okay, it looks like we're good. One thing I should say as well, actually, that we never really covered before when it came to materia. So obviously it shows the AP and your next level and whatnot, the different abilities and all, but you'll notice that there's one extra level. So level one is ice, level two is ice two, level three is ice three. When you get to level four, it becomes a mastered materia. And in this case, it's ice. So if you master an ice materia, it spawns a new, completely unleveled, regular ice materia to level up again. That becomes a lot more important down the line, but we'll cover that a little bit later. Now, so this is our first look at the world map. Fairly important stuff. There's our big zoomed in one. Now, I like to keep the map in the bottom right, even though I do know it by heart, but we do like to keep it down there too. Now. What we are going to do is, since we have escaped Midgar, we will leave it here for now, for the end of this part. It feels like a fitting, a fitting time to do so. How long has it taken to escape Midgar? Five and a quarter hours. So, that is it for our escape of Midgar. Our first main section of OG Final Fantasy VII. Anyway, until next time, we head around the world map, first explorer, Get our first enemy skill and head on over to Calm.